sorry your patience, this is Bellicat, and welcome back to Don Gamarapa Trigger Heavy Havoc. In the last episode, we completed the class trial. She got that in me first just to see what it was, it was hilarious. And uh went back and got the correct in, uh, ending for that class trial. And Alter Ego saved Makoto at the very last possible second. So instead of getting horribly crushed by one of Monokuma's crazy mechanisms, we instead got to the trash chute. And a couple days later, Kyoko came down the trash chute to rescue us. And that's where we are now. <clears throat> the ultimate despair. A group of people who caused a tragedy one year ago. Those same people put together this killing game and began broadcasting it around the world. The most desperately awful group of people ever. That is the mastermind's true identity. Our enemy has finally been revealed. But right now. Anyway. Right now, we have to get out of this horrible place. Figuring out the rest of the story, think of after. Yeah, you're right. You still have that tool that opens any door? How will we open this door? Hey. Kyoko, you still have that one thing? Monokuma's secret tool that you got from the headmaster's room? Indeed. Of course I do. It's an absolutely vital part of the ensnare of the mastermind. I would never part with it. And it can open any door in the school, right? That's right. Then we should be able to use it on that door, right? Hey Kyoko, we can use a key of yours to open this door, right? It's true. Let's find out. Kyoko took out the key with the Monokuma design on it and slid it into the keyhole. And then... Aha! Success! Yes, it opened! Indeed. And now we can get out of here. Let's go. Sounds good. We quickly opened the door and made our escape from the garbage pit. Monokuma's not gonna like that, is he? Finally. We were finally free. But there wasn't even time to take a breath of relief. Because the real fight had just begun. Oh, wow. That's quite a title there, buddy. After leaving the garbage pit, we found ourselves on a tunnel extending straight up like a chimney. There was a metal ladder leading up into the tunnel. We started climbing the ladder, intent on reaching the surface. Hello, upskirt! The ladder was impossibly long, I couldn't see where it ended. Not that I care about the upskirt, but that's a great shot for the uh, thumbnail. We climbed into darkness. The passage was so dark and cramped, I couldn't even see my own feet beneath me. I had no idea we were so far down. Hey. Don't lose your footing. If you slip, I won't be able to catch you. I yeah, I'll be careful. But now that you said that, I'm getting kind of nervous. Maybe talking will help keep my mind off of it. Uh, so, Kyoko, there's something I wanted to ask you. You said you're the ultimate detective, right? So, how long have you been doing detective work? How long? So... Ever since I can remember, I come from a long line of detectives. De de detective work is in my blood. There was a time when being a detective was considered a sacred duty. My family has always seen it that way. Then, is your family famous? Wrong. Quite the opposite, actually. Even among actual detectives, many people haven't heard of us. Huh? But how come? It's like your family tradition, right? So... Right. Because we take pride in it. Pride. Indeed. A detective is neither light nor shadow. We represent neither justice nor evil. That is how we uncover the truth. That is how we can uncover the absolute truth. We stand neutral in all things, and to do that we have to stand separate from the rest of society. Which is why we've made a conscious effort to conceal our existence. A conscious effort? It's true. It's kind of old fashioned, and I can't say it's entirely rational. But it's our family creed, and we do what we must to protect it. 
because, like I said, it's our source of pride. <clears throat> pride. So that explains... Before I came here, when I was looking up info about the school online, I never saw anything about her. Because she hid herself on purpose to protect the pride of her family. However... And yet... I gave up some of that pride. Huh? I... In order to enter Hope's Peak, I had to reveal myself to the school. I did it, knowing it was something a true kitty kitty detective would never do. But the reason you gave up that pride, the reason you would go so far to it is to enter Hope's Peak. It was because that's how much you wanted to reconnect with your dad, right? Ugh. There's no shame in that. What? Reconnect? I had absolutely no desire to reconnect with my father. Huh? But, but you'd be reuniting after all these years, right? You would have had so much to talk about. Wrong. There's nothing I want to talk to my father about. However... There is something I want to say to him, though. What? I... No matter what it takes, I had to find him and tell him face to face. What is it? So... I want to sever all ties with him. Sever? The last time I saw him, I was still very young. So I don't remember myself, but apparently he was extremely intelligent. He was in line to become the next head of the Kirigiri family. He was talented, he had a promising future. However... But he had no interest in detective work. So he cut himself off from the family. Not long after that, my mother died and he simply ran away. He went to my grandfather and they had a huge argument. And young as I was, he left me behind. I'm sure there was a reason for that. I'm sure your dad wanted to take you with him. Right. If that's true, then I need to thank him. Thank him for leaving me. Because unlike him, I take pride in the work I do. I take pride in my family name. So every last part of me is happy he didn't take me with him. If I'd gone with him, I never would have had the chance to become a detective. I was above Kyoko on the ladder, so I wasn't able to see her expression. So I couldn't tell. I couldn't see how she looked when she said that, what she might have been feeling. All I could tell was that compared to her usual self, she was more talkative. And more emotional. I... I don't blame him, you know. He had his own life to live. That's what anyone in my position might say, right? But it's not true. However... But there's one thing. One thing that I can never forgive. Really? So... The way everyone else looked at me. I was never sad about being left behind. Like I said, I think it was a good thing. However... But when the rest of my family looked at me, they saw something different. They only saw me as a little girl that was abandoned by her father. That's how they see me even to this day. I... His shadow has been following me my entire life. I'm sick of it. I need him out of my life. I need to step out of his shadow. Correct. That's why I have to find him and tell him we're no longer family. In order to settle the past. In order to remove him from my life forever. I have no doubt he forgot about me years ago. But your family? To just cut him out like that? Wrong. Only our connection- our only connection is through blood, nothing more. Are we connected by heart and soul? No. Hey. Is blood really enough to call someone family? No, it's not. Only connected by blood, not by heart or soul. I was so shocked to hear her say something like that, I didn't know how to respond. So instead, I said nothing. Good choice, Makoto. I just kept climbing the ladder in complete silence. And after I don't know how long, we finally reached the top. Oh no. Looks like this is it. Indeed. On the other side of this door, Hope's Peak is waiting for us. We are back. That's right. Remember that hatch on the ground near the trash room? I'm fairly certain that's where we'll come out. I unlocked it earlier, so it should open without much trouble. Well, here goes nothing. I stretched my right hand up and pushed against the hatch. Okay, good. The hatch opened with ease, and so... 
Looks like we're back. Whew. But I can't believe how long that ladder was. I'm exhausted. I can't exactly see we're safe and sound, but at least we're out of there. Now we're back in Hope's Peak Academy. Kyoko, thank you. I never would have gotten out of there without you. <clears throat> no thanks necessary. I was just returning the favor. So now what do we do? I'm glad I didn't die, of course, but if the mastermind finds out. And I'm worried about you too. You helped me, so they might listen. You're worried? Yeah, of course. So then. Then let's just get a concrete answer. Huh? In other words. Let's ask Monokuma if there's a problem with you escaping. Oh wait, that's how I if we try to hide, it's only a matter of time till we're found out, and it's not like we can run away. As she said that, she pointed at the new bike surveillance camera. So you're saying rather than stressing out over getting caught, we should just give up now? Don't worry, what you think is going to happen isn't. Because... Because the mastermind is the one that's ensnared. The mastermind is ensnared. You said something like that before, what does it mean? So... The mastermind stood exposed during the investigation into Kuro's death. There was a moment when the Mastermind let their guard down. There was? Right. If we can talk to Monokuma, we can confirm it. And it'll be better for us if we go to him directly before he tracks us down. That should help with our negotiations. I'm still a little, no, super uneasy about this. But we really don't have a choice, do we? Indeed. Monokuma should be in the gym. Shall we go? Let's keep going. Okay! Let's go. Boy, are they going to be surprised to see me alive. It's almost worth it just to see the look on his face. Well, I mean, I guess he's a bear, toy bear, so expression doesn't really change very much, but you know what I mean. It'll be worth it to see what he says. <clears throat> Here we go. <laughs> well, now, well, now. Well now, well now. Kyoko, I don't mind so much. I do but Makoto's supposed to be it. dead. What's he doing here? That's exactly how I thought he'd react. Are we really gonna be okay? You were supposed to be punished. Did Kyoko help you? What? So what if I did? What would you do? If the guilty party is exposed during the class trial, they alone will be executed. It's unfortunate, but that is the rule. So now I gotta punish you again! And this time I won't leave anything to chance! Kyoko! Right. Do whatever you feel you have to. What?! However... But before you do, let me just say one thing. No. If you execute Makoto, that means you lose. Not that that matters to you, right? Huh? I lose? Hey! You! Explain yourself! What do you mean by that? Because... Well, you set up this latest press class trial yourself, right? I was getting in your way, so you wanted to get an excuse to kill me. In other words... I was supposed to be chosen as a black and then executed, right? Yeah. Hey, hey! What are you talking about? However... But when Makoto chose to overlook my life, your plan came crashing down. The results of the trial weren't at all what you were expecting. <laughs> Because you never imagined that in that position, one person would protect another, another like that. Right. And in response to that unexpected development, Indeed. you reacted by defending Makoto the Blacker than trying to execute him. You made the choice out of desperation. No, more than that. You must have realized that Makoto, who refused to be manipulated, was a threat to you as well. <laughs> However... But then there was another unexpected development waiting for you. An entity that would throw a wrench, so to speak, in your, in your precious execution machinery. 
alter ego. <laughs> you never imagined the possibility of a being that could come our aid even after you killed it. Am I wrong? Now, here's the absolute truth. Makoto didn't kill Mikuro. He did. Listen to me. So executing Makoto for it would surely be a violation of your rules, which I know you love so much. If the Blacken is exposed, a Bay of Lone will be executed. That's what you told us, right? Huh, and that means I lose? You talk a big game. You're saying the Blacken is me, and not Makoto? Well... And you can prove this, right? Wow. No, you can't. Don't just say it like that. What is this, a comedy routine to make such bold claims without a shred of evidence? That doesn't matter. I don't have any right now, but with a little more time, I guarantee I'll find some. That's right. Because no matter how deeply you try to bury it, there is only ever one absolute tree. <laughs> and now you're trying to talk like some kind of famous detective type? Because... If Makoto really was the killer, he never would have come to you living there like this. He would have feared for his life, feared another execution. He would have tried to run and hide. He would have been gripped by the despair you, love, you so love to inspire. However... But here we are, confronting you with nothing but hope in our hearts. What the heck?! And that's supposed to be enough to convince me in the absence of evidence?! Indeed. It's not you I'm trying to convince. Hey. If you were to execute Makoto now, everyone out there watching this would be extremely displeased. Huh? Indeed. Imagine what everyone out there would think if you killed Makoto. They would assume that you killed him because what we said is exactly right. Listen to me. Despair can never kill hope. <laughs> hey. Of course, you can say we're just making all this up. You're welcome to prove this wrong. No, you have no choice but to prove it. Because if you call Makoto without providing your own and without proving your own innocence, you'll be accepting your own defeat. If you want to earn our despair, fair and square, that's what we have to do. Then I suggest you take my advice. <laughs> so, what is this advice of yours? It's true. To do the girls try all over again. Only this time, you follow the school regulations to ensure a fair trial. It's time for one last showdown. One final battle between hope and despair. Alright. Hey. Well, that would make for a proper climax, wouldn't you say? Fair trial. One last showdown, in other words. This would be our chance to expose the true identity of the plural's killer. Of the mastermind themselves. But, what reason would the mastermind have to accept the challenge? They'll probably just execute me without another word. <laughs> interesting. Bear it! Very interesting indeed! Very. What's wrong? Oh, I was getting bored, so I decided to change things up a little. Sometimes bear jokes! Now, what you've suggested might be possible. It would certainly make for one honey of a climax. In other words... Is that you accept? You guys! If we do things your way, that'll be enough to convince you and the viewers, right? It would cause you unbearable despair, right? Then I'm prepared to agree to your terms! <laughs> will your hope went out, or will my despair play victory? I can barely contain Let's myself! Let's have one final grizzly showdown! He agreed. Then we still have a shot at this. Bear it! But this is a long way to climax, right? Just guessing the killer is barely a fitting in. You guys! So for this final face-off, you'll have to unearth all the mysteries that have been buried here. All the mysteries? <laughs> that's right! Every last mystery that's falling around the school, if you can do that. I can barely contain myself! Then that'll be enough to qualify as a victory for you! It's true. That's what we've been trying to do all along. <laughs> okay, well good, then let's bear it all! If you can claw your way to the truth of the criminal's death and solve the mysteries of this school, you guys, then you win. <laughs> but if you can't do all of that, we'll all face execution, right? <laughs> I can barely contain my excitement. When you learn the whole truth, what kind of despair will you show me? <laughs> You're as excited as you are, I'm sure. Listen to me. When we've uncovered every last truth, how will the ultimate despair reveal their own despair? I honestly can't believe how this has all turned out. <laughs> hey. But before we get started, I want to clarify one more thing. Do you remember the rule? When one student kills another, that's when a class trial is held. 
What's wrong? I remember that for sure. So what? Hey. I just want to confirm that is what you said, right? And it's a true statement. <laughs> you don't have to be so suspicious. I've said it before, but it bears repeating. Everything is based on the school regulations. And having a trial for Mikuro is no exception to that. Huh? Mikuro's trial is no exception, then it's part of the regulations. Which would have to mean that whoever killed Mikuro... <laughs> it's a very polarizing approach, I know, but okay, enough puns. Anyway, here's a hint. I'm sure I've told you this already, but... This killing game began with 16 participants, all of them high school students. And only people to, and the only people to take a single step of hope peak since the killing game has began... Are those 16 students. What? Listen. Are you telling the truth? Why'd it go quiet all of a sudden? <laughs> now I'm really angry! I'm done talking! I got nothing left to say to you! So get lost, would ya? Why so bad? <sighs> he seems emotionally unstable. Hey! Leave me alone! Get out of here! Okay, I'm going. I just... You really gonna let me go? <sighs> I don't even care anymore! You're all gonna get your punishment later anyway. I need to start getting it ready. A super duper extra special punishment overflowing with despair. <laughs> <laughs> hey, come on, Makoto, let's go. Okay. <laughs> wow. Monokuma's unstable laughter seemed to cling to us as we walked away. And just like that, we were out of the gym. Well then, I could hardly believe it, but somehow I ended up not getting executed. I still had my life, and we still had a chance. Overall, things turned out way better than expected. Once again, I was in Kyoko's debt. Kyoko, thank you. Everything I have right now is because of you. However, don't thank me just yet. The real battle is still ahead of us. Yeah, true. <sighs> but still, I'm glad it worked out. I wasn't sure if the enemy would accept my proposal. Uh, but honestly, why would the Mastermind agree to that? I mean, they don't stand to gain anything from a final showdown, do they? So... They had no choice but to accept. Huh? Because... It's all because of that one moment that the Mastermind let down their guard, like I said. <clears throat> so when was it that the Mastermind let their guard down? So... I wasn't there to hear it myself, but do you remember what the Mastermind said? They said they had hijacked the airways to broadcast our school life to the outside world, right? Yeah, they definitely said that. Listen. And what did you think when you heard that? Pretty hard to believe, right? Well, I mean, the idea of actually taking over the air airwaves seems so unbelievable. Indeed. You don't exactly read about something like that happening very often, so it's hard to imagine. In other words, that kind of thing is extremely difficult to pull off. However... And yet somehow, the Mastermind was able to do it. In other words... But think of it another way. There must have been some reason they had to do something really difficult. A reason? So... They had to show the world something, no matter the cost, us killing each other. They wanted to show the world? It would seem... The Mastermind has been very adamant about not killing us directly, but forcing us to kill each other. And all their rules and regulations were designed to encourage that. Yeah, that makes sense. If those super regulations didn't exist, nobody would have killed anybody. In other words... So the Mastermind's ultimate goal was to make us kill each other and show that off to the world. But why? Correct. To prove a point, most likely. Prove a point? Hey. The outside world has a name for the students of Hopi's Peak Academy, right? A certain concept. You're talking about hope, right? That's right. And for those of us who represent hope to kill each other and sink into despair, the Mastermind wants the world to see that, to try and prove that despair is better than hope. That's their goal, as the ultimate despair. What? They want us to prove that... They want to prove that despair is better than hope? But that, that's ridiculous! It's true. You're right. It is ridiculous. Completely irrational. 
It's the kind of thing that nobody with those who call themselves the ultimate despair would devise. That group whose only purpose and motivation comes from despair. But is that really their only purpose for making the rest of us suffer? Makoto. I know how angry it must make you. And yet, that same motivation is what led to the Master by revealing their weakness. What? In other words... Because their goal is to broadcast this killing game to the world, the Mastermind has had to be more particular than is reasonable about their own regulations. If the Mastermind simply ignored their rules, this wouldn't have been a game but a one-sided slaughter. At the very least... That's how those who are watching this would have seen it. And that's why the Mastermind couldn't kill any of us themselves? Indeed. That is precisely the reason. No matter how much they may hate what I'm doing, I haven't violated a single one of the regulations. Junko broke the rules, she was so she was punished. But in my case, they couldn't lay a finger on me. Right. So instead, they tried to use a class trial, following all the proper rules to get me killed. They began a trial that didn't have the right answer, then made me out to be the killer. But even that didn't work. It's true. Yes, thanks to you. And due to that failure, the Mastermind took yet another risk. They attempted to kill you instead, who also was not the killer. And when that fact was exposed on live TV to the entire outside world, the Mastermind had to accept your suggestion? Indeed. To prove to the world that despair is better than hope, they have to defeat us in perfect form. In other words... It would only do the Mastermind harm to have it shown that they'd violated their own regulations. But all of that was a hunch, right? And you were still able to gain the Mastermind to accept the challenge? However... Well, it's only thanks to you that we have got that chance. Because you believed in me, and that the path opened up. Still, I can't believe how much of the Mastermind's thoughts and plans you were able to figure out. I didn't have the slightest clue. That's because you're an idiot! Wrong. In the end, though, I couldn't prove any of it. It was just my reasoning. Essentially, I was making a bet. Whew. But it looks like I got it right. This time, at least, I won the bet. She let out a quick sigh. I took it as a small sign of relief. <laughs> to be honest, I haven't been that nervous in a long time. I totally couldn't tell you were nervous at all. You seem totally confident from the moment we decided to go talk to him. Hmm. Well, presenting a strong demeanor is a fundamental part of negotiation and persuasion, wouldn't you say? Plus, if I had showed my uneasiness, that would have just made you that much more uneasy. Yeah, you're probably right. How pathetic. However... Anyway, we can't relax just yet. All we've done is earn another chance to fight. We have to win this time. Correct. Or everything we've gone through will have been for nothing. You're right. But if we can't defeat the Mastermind, it'll cost us our lives. There is no option except to win. Hey. But before we begin the final battle, we have to tell the others what's going on. True, but now we know who our real enemy is. All we have to do now is work together with everyone to destroy the Mastermind. Work together with everyone. However... Is that really possible? Huh? Anyway... Right now, we have to go find the others. Shall we go? They're probably in the dorm room somewhere. Shall we go? Shouldn't these doors be locked? And suddenly we were greeted with... Okay... You again. Uh, what? Is he broken? Whew. I suppose his emotional instability reached its limit. <laughs> okay! Jeez, what the heck? However... I wonder what that was all about. I couldn't help but let out a sigh of relief. Ah! Is that... Makoto? <laughs> That's the screenshot right there, buddy. Y you guys! It is! There's no two ways about it! That's Makoto! Huh? You survived? Jeez. You're like a stubborn little cockroach, you know that? It's good to see you too, Byakuya! I'm just asking to make sure, but you're not a ghost, right? Everyone was there. All my friends who had struggled together and survived. As soon as I saw their faces, I couldn't help myself. 
I started to tear up. <clears throat> what? Wait, what's that smell? What the heck? Yeah, man, that seriously stinks. Ah! It's Makoto! He smells like a wet dog! <laughs> Get away! Shoo, shoo! And in a flash, my tears dried up. Wow. Yo! Makoto, what was it like hanging out in the spirit world? I didn't go to the spirit world. You know? Did you get to talk to her? Who? Hmm. Miss Cleo! Oh my god. No, I didn't get to talk to her. I mean, I didn't go to the spirit world. I mean, who the heck is Miss Cleo? <laughs> nice reference. It's so dated now, but... I still can't believe you survived. Yeah, me either. <laughs> Do you realize why it is you escaped execution? It was Alter Ego. He saved my life. That's right. Not too many people can say they had their lives saved by a computer program. Hmm. I imagine it was a learning experience for you. <clears throat> Is he actually glad to see me? So what have you been guys been doing while I was gone? Hmm. Well, we figured that since the trial was over, we'd have access to new places again. And? Hmm. No dice. All rooms that were locked before were still locked. So there weren't any new areas. Then where can we go to find new clues? Ugh, you stink! Are you rotten? <laughs> I'm rotten you! Physically, mentally, every way you can be rotten! Sorry, I was rolling around a garbage for a while. <laughs> the smell is so smelly. <gasps> oh, super smelly! You smell even worse than me! Way worse than me! <laughs> I win. She seems happy for some reason. Whatever, you freak! Makoto. <laughs> Can I at least take a bath? There's no time to indulge in an extended happy reunion. I need to explain to everyone what happened with Monokuma. Yes. Explain? Explain what? Hmm. But is it okay that you're here? What if the mastermind catches you? It's true. That's related to what I have to tell you all. <laughs> I need to tell you about the last class trial. Huh? Last class trial? In other words... We're going to redo Murokuro's trial. Huh? What? Seriously? How about that? What's the point of redoing it? Makoto killed her, right? <clears throat> no, I didn't do it, like I keep telling you. Wrong. Makoto isn't the killer, and of course it's not me or any of you. Huh? Uh, then, who is it? I see. What she's saying is that it was all the work of the Mastermind. Huh? What? You're saying the Mastermind killed Makuro? That's right. It was all an elaborate traffic contrived by the Mastermind. Makoto spotted the trap in time, and we did what he had to, had to do to stop it. However... But his decision meant that he would be the one to die. What? What did you say? You spotted the trap, did you, Makoto? You make it sound like it was easy, I just, you know... However, but executing Makoto, who wasn't the Blacken, is a clear violation of the school regulations. The rules state that only the Blacken is to be executed, and Mastermind broke their own rules. <laughs> Which is why I went and negotiated with them to have the trial one more time. Huh? And the Mastermind agreed? Does that mean they really did break the rules? <laughs> they had no choice but to agree. You used the TV broadcast to gain leverage you needed, didn't you? Correct. Very observant of you. Naturally. I recall what you said at the end of the last trial. When you said, now it's the mastermind that's ensnared, that's what you were referring to. Don't be mean! Hey, I'm totally in the dark here. <laughs> For anyone who doesn't understand, you can ask Yoko to explain it again later. <laughs> so, knowing all this, what do we do now? About that. It's about who killed Makoto, right? So our job is to expose the mastermind. Hmm. But there's more to it than that, correct? Um, yeah. For us to win this time, we had to solve every last mystery surrounding the school. Huh? Every last mystery? But... But we've been looking around all this time and we still don't know anything, right? Anyway... You're probably guessed already, but if we lose this time, everyone dies. Oh, and everyone? No! I hate you! Hey, who said you could agree to those terms without talking to the rest of us? <laughs> I'm fine with the things the way they are. I'm fine living here forever with Master. I, meanwhile, want to get out of here as soon as humanly possible. Anyway. 
At this point, the only way for us to survive is to unravel the truth. <laughs> In other Interesting. words, one decisive final battle. A rather interesting development, I'd say. But... But figuring out who the mastermind is and how they killed Mikuro and all the school's mysteries... <sighs> it's a pretty tall freaking order. Maybe, but this time the trial is different. We know who our enemy is now. So we work together and search as hard as we can. I'm sure we'll solve all those mysteries. I'm not so sure about that. Huh? I... I can't agree with the idea of, every, of working together with everyone. <clears throat> you can't agree? Why not? I mean, working together with everyone seems like the most obvious way to solve all the mysteries. Indeed. That's what I thought too, at first. Until Monokuma gave us that little hint of his. Hint? <laughs> yeah. I see. Monokuma said that, did he? Then Kyoko's opinion is perfectly reasonable. Huh? But why? So in other if words... If the Mastermind really is the one who killed Mikuro, as Kyoko says, then the Mastermind would have to have to have set foot in this school, right? Monokuma could probably murder Mikuro, but there's no way he could have disguised a scene like that. In other words... But according to Monokuma, the only people who have set foot in Hope's Peak are the 16 students who have been taking part in the killing game. <laughs> then the Mastermind is... There were 15 of us in the ma ma main hall at the very beginning. And if in M Mukuro, I, I didn't. God, I can't fucking read. I didn't Mukuro, and you get 16. <gasps> so the mastermind would have to be one of them. That's right. And one of those 16 people, and of those 16 people we started out with, the only ones still alive are the people standing right here. Need I continue, or do you get it now? What? You're saying the mastermind is one of us? No way! You can't be serious! But wait, we can't say for sure that's true yet. Monokuma might have just said all that to confuse us. Indeed. It's certainly a possibility, but only one among many. The mastermind being one of us is also a possibility. And that is one possibility we can't ignore. <laughs> yeah, I mean, they're an ultimate, right? The ultimate despair. So they must be a high schooler. <laughs> you can't say it's not possible. But if one of us is mastermind, they'd have to be controlling Monokuma somehow, right? But did you ever see anyone acting suspicious anytime Monokuma was active? Mm, well, maybe they snuck off and controlled him in, in secret. But I don't care how sneaky you are, we would have noticed someone sneaking off that many times. I'm right, right? Then maybe Monokuma was on autopilot. Maybe they look, looked up, loaded up all the dialogue and actions beforehand. In that case, there's no way he could have had all those back and forth conversations with us. Well, it wouldn't be entirely impossible if they directed the flow of the conversation. Well, maybe, but still. Ah, uh, this is a school announcement. You've all probably figured this out by now, but... At this point, the killing game has now entered true ending mode. So, in the name of fairness, I will unlock every room in the school. What, really? Look wherever you want. Solve the mystery in whatever way you see fit. <laughs> then we can all meet up at the class trial, okay? <laughs> Hmm? How very magna magnanimous of him to unlock all the rooms. That's fine. The time for talk is done. Now we need to begin our investigation. But... <laughs> I was planning on working alone from the beginning anyway. In the name of my family. At this point, I can only rely on myself, on the Togami blood flowing through my veins. <laughs> I have no time to worry about the rest of you. Each of you must uphold your responsibility. Goodbye. Well then. He's right, you know. <clears throat> After making his final statement, Byakuya left the dining hall. <laughs> Master! He didn't take me with him! Hey. Do you blame him? <laughs> Without Master, the rest of you are like... 
coffee with cream or without the cream or coffee. Yeah. You're totally useless. <sighs> so bye. With that, Togo trudged out of the dining hall. <sighs> and now she's gone. And you're gonna go off by yourself, right, Kyoko? Indeed. That's right. Hmm. Which just leaves Makoto, Hina, and me. You know? In that case, I'm gonna go by myself too. Just a second! Wait, how come? How about that? Just wait and see. I'm gonna use my totally awesome spirit power to figure out the mastermind's identity. <laughs> okay. Laughing loudly, Hero left the dining hall. Aww. Everyone's really gonna go off by themselves? What about you, Hina? Hmm. Um, I guess I'll do the same thing. But I mean, it's not that I don't trust everyone, you know. Cause I but mean, up till now, I haven't really been all that useful. I just depend on Sakura and everyone else. You're not useless. If you hadn't been here, I would have died. Huh? Makoto. <laughs> and that's really nice of you to say. But but still, I know I've mostly been totally useless. Okay. So I figure, at least here at the end, maybe I can figure so find something that'll help us all get out of here. So I'm gonna go off and do it all on my own. <laughs> okay, see you later. Nina was surprised when I experienced as she dashed out of the dining hall. And once again, it's just us two. Indeed. <laughs> <clears throat> so, you're gonna go off on your own too, right, Kyoko? However... Well, don't misunderstand. Just because we're going to do our own search separately doesn't mean we can't still work together. So... That goes for all of us. I think I see what you mean. Doing our own investigating doesn't mean we can't work together in the end. I should just see it as a splitting up to cover more ground. And then we can get back together and share what we found. Yeah, that's right. So then... Well, I better get going. I have an endless list of things I need to check. Correct. Monokuma said all the doors in the school have been unlocked, right? So, we should be able to investigate every nook and cranny in the school. We can visit all places we couldn't go before. Makoto. No matter what it takes, we have to uncover the truth. By any means necessary. With that, Kyoko was gone. Leaving only me. I don't have time to waste either. I had to begin my search. I still can't believe the mastermind might be one of us. So that's what I have to prove. I'll prove that the mastermind isn't one of us. I'll expose the mastermind's true identity and solve the mystery of this school. And then we can all escape together. Okay, well, that's super duper exciting, but I'm going to leave that for the next episode. So thanks for watching, hope you enjoyed, and I'll see you later.